first is meditation the second is swadhyaya the more you read books the more re you reading books should see swa swadhyaya means self study swa adhyaya self study the more you read books the more it helps you to understand yourself the more it motivates you to do more meditation the books you read like you know living with the himalayan masters autobiography of a yogi or a life a soul's journey when you read these kind of book or herald perceval ka book hai so when you read these kind of books that motivates you to go deep within yourself to do more meditation reading those kind of books helps you to understand that there is no way out the only way out is to go in right so that is the right spiritual book and yes there are some great uh, channeling books also you know like ramta and seth and all those books they emphasize on going within you see i am not against channeling but the channeling message should motivate you to go within that is the right channeling the channeling should emphasize on meditation this is what is the real right channeling but unfortunately there are some channelings okay like today is 11 11 11 21 11 21 today is a very special day today you meditate for 8 hours this is a channeling message some great kingdom of god will open the star portals will open the energies will come the chakras will activate a channeling message kya ye bakwas hai any day meditation is good any day meditation every time meditation is good only on that particular day the star portals are going to open that particular day your chakras will activate you know that star system is going to this is all maya okay and sometimes these channelers uh, the people who are channeling they they channel their own ego also they channel their own mind also so to differentiate what is right and wrong also you need meditation you can ask a question sir market mein itna hai kaise pata humko kya sahi hai kya nahi sahi you want to that is called discernment to see what is right and what is not right even for that discernment you need meditation without meditation you cannot do the discernment you will blindly believe everything so meditation becomes very very important for the beginner of the enlightenment beginner of the seeker and also advanced person also the the only thing which will help you to come out of the maya is again meditation suppose you might say sir i am already in maya what should i do i already followed many things many techniques i know that i am stuck in few things what should i do do more meditation you will come out of the maya when you do meditation you will not go into maya even if you have gone into maya when you do sincere meditation you will come out of the maya what is the right meditation the right meditation is the technique which has no dependencies the right meditation is which empowers you the right meditation is the meditation which helps you to get the answers from within not from outside if you get guidance from within if you are able to listen to your heart if you are able to follow your intuition that means you are in the right meditation which is anapanasati just be with your breath your breath is your only reality as long as you are alive you are breathing your breath is with you from the first breath till the last breath your breath is your constant companion on this planet earth your breath is your only companion from the first breath to the last breath so breath is your companion while you are on the planet earth so when you follow that breath that breath will guide you that natural breath your own breath will guide you into the right direction into the right path into enlightenment process into the enlightenment journey when you catch hold of your breath then you become independent of the external so the right meditation 
is the meditation which has no dependencies, no dependencies on any object, no mantra, no tantra, no visualization, no gurus, nothing. And also these days people are in a hurry. I don't know why people are in a hurry. No, they want to manifest everything quickly. They want to manifest this, they want to manifest that. They want to manifest money, they want to manifest relationships, they want to manifest everything. Before you want to manifest anything, you have to understand the consequences. You know, it has become a fancy word, manifestation. You please understand, the consequences are more important than manifestation. When you don't know the consequences, better don't manifest. You can manifest anything you want. You see, we are in, we have infinite potential. We are unlimited beings. You can manifest anything you want. But are you ready to pay the consequences? If you think your journey, you, if you think your soul journey is in like in a limited perspective, then you are stuck in the manifestation. If you think this is the only lifetime you have, then you are stuck in the manifestation. You have to pay the consequences. But if you think you, the, your soul journey as an eternal journey, if you, if you see from the higher perspective that you have taken many, many lifetimes, this is an eternal journey. You will take many more lifetimes and you will take lifetimes not only on the planet Earth, you will take lifetimes on the higher dimensions, on the other systems, on the other star systems, other, other galaxies. Life is infinite. Life is meant for celebration. When you think from that perspective, you become a cool baby. You know, you are not in a hurry. You are not in a hurry to manifest, manifest, manifest. You manifest, Karnaya. Some, let it come to you. Again, I repeat, I like to repeat the statement of Buddha and Jesus Christ. The great statement of Jesus Christ, seek ye the kingdom of God first, seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness first. All else will add unto it and the kingdom of God is within. Jesus Christ said the kingdom of God is within. Seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness first and all else will add unto it. That means when you do meditation and righteousness, you do your dharma. You do meditation and you do your duty, you do your dharma. Everything you need will come to you. Why you have to manifest? If you are focusing on manifestation, that means you are not eligible for enlightenment. When you are focusing on meditation and when you are focusing on doing your dharma, everything you want will come to you. Everything you want, from material to enlightenment, everything, what you want will come to you. What you deserve will come to you. What you need will come to you. Eternity is in front of you. Why to hurry? So please don't get stuck in the manifestation process. Nature is perfect. What you deserve, you will get it. What you don't deserve, you don't get it in the first place. If you try to manifest the things which you don't deserve, you have to pay the consequences. As simple as that. The truth is very simple. What you deserve, you will get it at any cost. What you don't deserve, you will never get it. This is the law of the nature. If you go against the law of the nature, thinking you are very intelligent, you are very smart and you are super human and you, you think you can manifest everything, yes, you can, but be ready for the consequences. Spirituality is very, 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 very simple. Simple and straightforward. Seek ye the kingdom of God first, meditation first and the righteousness, do your dharma, do meditation and do your dharma, that's all. Everything else will come to you, as simple as that.